so glad that we are here, you'll never know. This is amazing that... Yep, I think I just found another egg right here. Are you at her today? Well, we're looking at the milkweed that grows naturally here to find monarchs. And we have been very fortunate. We found five fully grown caterpillars. And we found where the baby caterpillars are eating the first growth stage or instar. And it's a really nice thing. Plus, we saw the milkweed bugs, which are very beautiful on the milkweed. They only come out really at the end of the season. So we've been fortunate to see all this in such a short amount of time. And, and how important is the milkweed for, for the butterflies? For the monarch butterfly, it is the only um, plant that they will ever lay eggs on. And there are other species in Mexico that when they migrate, the tuberosa um, milkweed uh, is what they eat when they're down there before they start back for the United States. But milkweed, it's what it's got to be. And they seem to enjoy this particular, which is called um, Asclepius syriaca, this is a broader leaf milkweed and it grows in meadows. But there are several different species and I'm not good with those last with those species names, but in the state of Maryland and monarchs don't usually like the others. They stick to this one. And can you talk a little bit about what are monarchs doing at this at this time of year? Well, they're finishing up the lifespan part of the caterpillar, the um, last in-store, and then they hang upside down underneath a milkweed leaf. They shed their last caterpillar skin, and underneath is something so awesome that chrysalis looks like a piece of jade with gold spots. And I can't tell you how many thousands of these I have seen for years and years, but the truth is you never get used to it to the point where I can say, ah, oh, I'll skip it today. I don't have to see it again. I've got to see it again. Right. And so how, how important are monarchs? How important are they to the ecosystem? Well, they're pollinators for sure. And like any other butterfly or moth that flies and, and um, um, comes to a plant and lands on it, uh, they will pollinate. But uh, the silk moths like Luna cannot pollinate. They have no mouth parts. But the monarch butterfly, like all the others and some of the moths, will nectar during the day at many flowers and they will carry the pollen on their legs. What was I red? I don't know. But it's a beautiful insect. Alright, sorry. All life stages. Everything. Did I show you this one here? You gotta do this again next week. <laughs> and there's milkweed all inside there. Wow. Etc because milkweed is poisonous plant to insects, definitely to birds. It's a beautiful thing.